Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous videos, we handled this particular first thing, SO item details. We handle these two things, yes, SO creation date and SO created by. Now we will go for this particular third thing. What we need to print now, this is ALV interactive report. And if you see, if you see, this is in italic, this is in italic. Now, if I will go to our third type of header, the type A display the contents in italic with normal intensity. If you see, have you seen? We want to display in normal intensity. There is no bold, nothing. If we want to display in normal intensity and in italic, we will go for A. A stands for action. In this particular type, yes, whatever we will give in info, that will be considered and the, it will ignore the contents of the key. It is similar to just like H. In case of H also, it has not considered the key. It is not considering the key. Whatever we will give in info, it will be considered. But in case of H, whatever we are giving, it is appearing in bold and high font. But if we go for A, in case of A, it will be in italic with normal intensity. Now we will go for the practical for the same. So now I will go for third thing. Now what I will do? LWA underscore list. Now what we want to give now type will be A. A means action. Now I will go for next. Now in case of A, if you are going for action, there is no need to give the key because anyways, key will be ignored. So I will directly give the info. And but the info, I will go for text symbol and I will create. I will write text hyphen 011. But we not want to write now. This is ALB interactive report. I will double click and now I will give this is ALV interactive report. And whatever we are giving, it will appear in italic. Okay, I'll just increase the length. This is ALV interactive report. Okay, I'll just increase the length more. I will activate. So I passed it to work area. From the work area, I will pass to internal table. And now I will clear the work area. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Yes, now we will understood full thing in the debugging mode because we finished with all types, yes. So I will put a breakpoint and in that debugging, we will see each and everything. I'm giving suppose low value also, high value also, and I'm giving created by. We are going for full understanding because now we are giving each and everything. Now I will simply show you the internal table lt underscore list. As of now, I'm on 113 number line. I'm executing this part. 
Now you can see one record appended to internal table with which type H. H stands for header. So whatever we are giving, it will appear in bold and big font. Now we will go next. Now this if condition will be failed because we gave low and high both. Now second if condition is true. Whenever second if condition is true, we are appending everything again to which internal table? LD list. And which particular type? S. S means what? Key value pair. Key will appear in bold and value will appear as normal. This is what we want. Now we will go to next. Now this we gave the username. Yes, we gave the username. So we have third record appended to internal table. Key will appear as normal and value, sorry, key will appear in bold and value will appear as normal if we are going for S. S means selection. Now we will go next. Now we are going for action, action. A means action. So we appended the fourth record to the internal table. Anyways, key will be ignored and whatever we are giving, it will appear in italic. Now all these four records, we are passing to which particular function module? Reuse ALB commentary, right? And it will display the output. Now you can see we have the expected result. Is this matching with our full requirement as of now? Yes. You can see we got same to same kind of output. Same to same. Now, in the next video, what we will do? We will start with now the button creation part. We will go for first button. We will go for second button. On first button, yes, we will call the smart form. On the second button, we will go for or we will call the Adobe form. This is what we want. First form, first button, we want smart form. Second button, we will call Adobe form. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, yes, we covered the third type of header. That is action. Whenever you are going for action, so whatever you are passing, it will appear in italic with normal intensity. Yes, the contents of key will be ignored. If I will give key also nothing, it will not appear at all. Whatever you are giving in info, it will appear in italic. In the next video, we will go for PF status. You all know whenever you want to create your own buttons or action, we need to go for PF status. So we will create two buttons in the output of ALV. One to call smart form, one to call Adobe form. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.